So today we're working on an exterior project. For this one here, limestone. It's not polished, it's not smooth, it's not flat, it is gorgeous. And I kind of feel like I got here a little bit late, so I'm gonna insert some pictures here to show you what the before looks like. But basically, in short, what we're doing is we're doing a combination of some cleaning. So we're cleaning the balusters, uh, cleaning ledges and whatnot around the perimeter of the house. There's a total of three of those here. And then the guys are working on rust removal. So a lot of these areas here did have rust. A lot of the rust has already been removed, but I got one area over here where you can still see a little bit of the yellow because there's still another application that needs to be done. But it'll kind of show you what we're working with and then what the process is and what the steps are to go ahead and get this removed. So right over here, as we get to this corner, not sure if you can kind of still see the remnants of the rust, but there was basically this entire little walled area was all rusted out. There's quite a few of them. It was here, it was here, and around the perimeter of the house all the way to where the guys are at right now. But this is essentially kind of like after the second application of the rust removal process. So first step is to always apply the rust removal treatment onto the product itself and let it do its job. Now another thing that's super important is determining whether or not the product should be applied to the surface. And the way that you determine whether the product should be applied is, well, what kind of material is it that we're working on? If it's clefted, is it chiseled, is it absorbent, has it been sealed, has it not been sealed, how old is it, how new is it, is it, is it flat, has it been casted, is it a cast limestone, is it a true limestone block, what, what's the color range, what's the texture, where is it located? So in this particular case, the reason why it was totally okay to go ahead and apply rust removal treatments first and foremost, know that rust removal products are slightly acidic in nature. So in other videos, you'll notice that whenever you put something acidic on a calcium carbonate stone, which this is, depending on if it's matte or polished, you're going to get different results. You can clearly see that the, that the wall here is completely matte. There's absolutely no polish. It's original. It's clefted or chiseled or however it is that you want to go ahead and label this type of, of limestone bricks. The point is that any acidic imperfections are not going to be visible, and that's primarily because there's just no sheen to it. So first step is always getting rid of the product. And when you're doing rust removal processes, you don't want to wet the surface first. The reason for that is because if you wet it first, you are now diluting the product, not allowing the product to do its job, which is eliminate the rust. So this right here, there are two applications that have been applied to this already. Scrubbed it, let it dry. The guys are going to go ahead and apply another, uh, another um, a layer of product over here to see if we can improve on this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take you to the area where the guys are at right now so you can see what the final product is starting to look like and you're gonna catch them in the rinsing stage. Why? Because whenever you use any kind of product, whether acidic or alkaline, you must neutralize. If you don't neutralize, then you're introducing the ability for soil to clean on or for it to get dirty uh, quicker or to go ahead and absorb. So you always wanna neutralize the product or the surface that you're working on before moving forward. So I'll show you what that looks like. So what you see going on right here is you got two technicians working simultaneously together at the next step of the process. So the first step of the process is applying the rust removal agent product, letting it sit, letting it dwell, letting it do its time, and then coming back and now rinsing. So you'll notice that the two of them are working from different uh, uh, distances from the material who's doing the primary job, which is neutralizing and rinsing off any and any of the product that still could remain on uh, the surface itself. And then what you have Jose doing over there at the other end is doing the fine tuning, the detail cleaning. So first step, address what you're working on. Next step, neutralize. The following step after that, detail clean. And as long as everything is being done in a successive manner, perfect. Everything will work out perfectly fine. Having the right tool for the job makes all the difference in the world. But then again, Having the right tool and not knowing what tool to use when and where could also be a big difference as far as final result is uh, and ultimately a satisfied or dissatisfied customer. And I guess that's it for this episode. So this one was just mainly about rust removal, oxidation, processes, steps, 
Um, and at the end of the day, um, a sequence. You know, which guy works after what guy, after what step, for what reason, and that's pretty much it. So with that being said, hopefully this video was somewhat informational, helpful. Um, if we could be a part of your job, please give us a call. If not, like, subscribe, comment. More than happy to work with you. Have a fantastic day. Thank you.